Hello, viewers of TK Solutions TV. My name is TK. I'm in studio with uh, former players just to get their view about the match that we just watched, which was Kaiser Chiefs and Supersport United. I know you've been asking for this uh, to say, get some former players to the studio. We want to hear their view about the current status of football. And as always, when you ask, we respond. And uh, today in the studio, I'm joined by, uh, I'm joined by Tuso Pala, former Supersport United, Mamelodi Sundowns, Kaiser Chiefs. He's got two Netbank Cups to his name. He's got a, a, a Telecom Cup. He's got an MTN8. So he played at the AFCON. Uh, Tuso, Shabu Jome Oti. ZDK, thanks yeah. for the invite. It's always nice being here. Yeah, you know, I told you this is home. Yeah, no, I, yeah. No, I feel like home. Yeah, yeah. It's, you must be a regular here. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Listen, Tuso, we just watched the um, Kaiser Chiefs against Supersport United. You watched the game. What's your view? Yeah, uh, a very close game. Uh, not many chances created. Uh, fortunate for Supersport, they started off well. So they scored in the first minute. You know, a mistake on the right hand side of defense from Chiefs, ball coming in the box, from Lacrosse in Tepin. Yeah. You know, so uh, I don't think uh, Chiefs was ready for that for that moment. Uh, as you know, in the football, it's moments, it's the critical phase, they say. The first five minutes of the, of the game, five, five minutes before half time, yeah. five minutes after half time, five minutes before end of the game, that's where you see chances or mistakes happen. So, Unfortunately, it went against Chiefs today. I mean, that one chance is what Supersport got. Second half, they got a chance that uh, Edu and Kunika uh, made a mistake and the Supersport boy was in, but he missed. So not, a, uh, uh, not many chances created by Supersport. Uh, Chiefs also looked desperate after they were one, uh, one goal down. The fans, you know, always, you know, giving that pressure. Yeah. Obviously, to the new striker, it's difficult, man. I think uh, it, there's not one clear chance that he got, yeah. you know, for, for, for us uh, as viewers and as supporters, as, as supporters to start viewing him yeah. for what, like what kind of a striker he is. I mean, he still has to settle for Chiefs. Yeah. It's always difficult, you know, especially when you're a striker because you're expected to score. If a defender coming in there, you know, the team plays 0-0, zero, zero, you're a good player. Yeah. But if you're a striker, the team 0-0, zero, zero, yeah. why are you not scoring, you know? Yeah. So there's more pressure on him. It's, it's very unfortunate, but not a lot of chances were created today. Uh, Dupree obviously being the live wire for Chiefs, you know, yeah. always up for it, always looking to make those runs, you know, always there for the ball available. You know, he's a live wire for Chiefs and, you know, uh, other than that, not many chances. Uh, it was nice to see Itu back, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of his, like, you know, yeah. nice to see him back. Unfortunately, he's back and they concede that goal, which no one is at fault actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it's a good game of soccer. Yeah. Have you watched Kaiser Chiefs recently and today? Where do you think their biggest problem is? I mean, they score your first minute, then obviously you must chase the game the entire 88 minutes plus extra time, another 90 minutes, but you fail to score. Do you, where do you think they are struggling at the moment? Well, for me, I think it's the midfield. Mm. Uh, midfield, I'm, I'm going to say the entire midfield. Mm. Uh, you know, like previously when you play Chiefs, they dominate the game. They always want to have the ball. Right, yeah. and they dominate the pace of the game. Yeah. So now, the uh, Chiefs don't dominate the game. Like they don't want, they don't like put their foot down and play around, and they they must decide when to attack. Yeah. Sometimes they attack when they're not ready. You find to break through, and he's the only one there, a friend, you know. So I think the midfield like uh, gel. Yeah. It's not there yet. Like they don't they don't dominate it yeah. as a Chiefs that I know. So like today. They would, they would play a long ball to Gonzalez, to Gonzalez their front, yeah. but no one is expecting the second ball from the midfield. Yeah. You know, there's Matlo and there's Mart sitting there, yeah. far from uh, Gonzalez. Yeah. Castillo, for me, he's one of, well, I, I, I didn't watch him properly yeah. where, when he first arrived, but I can see he's the, also he's the engine of Chiefs. Yeah. Because he goes past Mart to defend, yeah. and he goes past Mart to attack. Yeah. You know, so he's like box to box player. I'm, I'm really impressed with him. Every every ball that was crossed today, he he, he was the one who was getting at the end at the end of it. At the end of it. Yeah. So so I'm thinking, maybe play him more higher, mm. play him behind the the centre forward. So we know that Castillo must be here when the defender starts the ball. He's the one who who starts the play, and then he's the one who must end it. Yeah. So he's going through past and he has he must go through a lot for him to get yeah. there. It's, it's too demanding for him. Yeah, so he's more like overworked. You know? Yeah, like I, I think so. Because when, uh, when Chiefs does play, mm. it's Castillo who comes mm. to play. Mm. 
And then when Chiefs attacks, it's Castillo who finishes the move. And yeah. he's the central midfielder. Yeah. You know, so I think if his role is higher up, you know, let him do less running. He must only run when he attacks because he's a good attacker. Very yeah. comfortable on the ball. I watched him properly today and I'm very impressed by him. I think he's one of the best signings. I think there's still more, uh, more from him like we're going to see this season. Yeah. So, so you mentioned that in the past, Chiefs will dominate the middle field. Do you think at the moment, is it because they don't have players to dominate the middle field? I'm saying this because I've watched Chiefs' uh, recent games. Even if they win, they didn't have position. Mm -hmm. they, they will play uh, commission or economical football. They go wide, whipping a goal. They can get one goal on target, and then it's a goal they all did. Yeah. Then it's OK. Do you think the coach realized, I don't have players to do what we used to do? But I've got players that I can use to win the matches. Can I go? Yeah, well, I think also it goes to the material you have. Obviously, I, I, I don't expect Kaza Chiefs to play the same way as the Tabo Mokis were playing, the Tinashe Tina Nengomachi were playing, you know? They would, they would post the midfield. Yeah. Ball players. So at Kaza Chiefs, it was known that you have ball players, you know? So in the midfield, that's why I'll, I'll, I'll put my, my head on the block and say, uh, Castillo, he does that confidently. He goes to fetch the ball mm. and he goes to attack. So he's got Mart and Matlow mm. in the center, which are, uh, Mart must do that role of collecting and let Castillo stay. But Mart doesn't show up more for the ball than what uh, Castillo does. You know, mm. he's brave enough to come past them and collect the ball and play. Mm. You know, there was one build up from the goalkeeper. Castillo was from the right hand side. He went out with the ball, even did a shiver when Chiefs was out from Castillo. And then end of that move, they cross then here at the ball. You know, it yeah. goes past Mart and Matlow. Mm. You know, so I think in the midfield, uh, the roles, I think one role, uh, uh, one player does many roles, which is Castillo. Yeah. You know, and that's why you'll always see him scoring. You know, you'll never see a Mart in the box or a Matlow in the box. I mean, there are three midfielders. Mm. You're allowed, you're not <laughs> you're holding the midfielder, yeah. you must now sit with your, with your defenders. You get a Rodri from Man City. Yeah. He scored the winner of Champions League. Yeah. You know, he's a holding midfielder. You're midfielders. Like, you're supposed to attack mm. and defend. You're a midfielder. You are the engine of the team. Yeah. So I don't think uh, Mart does enough of it, of him being on the ball and dictating the midfield. Yeah. You know, you had, uh, against um, Mahaman yeah. today, the super sport boy, mm. they are the same age, most. Yeah. Same typical players. They're also pound for pound. Mahaman always had the ball in the midfield. If it wasn't Castillo, it was Mahaman, mm. you know, which they go past Mart. You know, so I think he must show up more for the ball. Mm. Confidently so, he must, because he's got Matlo and Castillo, pe people who are comfortable on the ball. Yeah. So I think more dominant must come out of the players, you know. Uh, maybe now, because Chiefs are under pressure, the results have been coming and the supporters are, all, uh, you know, the coach is back. Yeah. The striker always is, is new, he's got pressure. The results haven't been coming. But uh, I'm a believer that Chiefs will, will not have a bad season. Mm. You know, I think uh, they're going to the next game, which is Sundowns. Yeah. They lost today. Mm. I think it's better them losing today than losing them over the weekend. Yeah. I don't see Chiefs losing two in a row. Mm. I, well, I've been believing like that. I don't know why. They're caught. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But Chiefs is that team. Yeah. So I see them bouncing back, going to, a, uh, going to such a big game uh, over the weekend, mm. coming from a loss. Yeah. I think it will maybe wake up the players, yeah. hopefully. And, and let's come to Supersport. What did Supersport did right today? Supersport, they play to the strength. Mm. Go wide, cross, go long. When Hrobla goes up, uh, Zuga Manje is there. Mm. The second pose, all the second poles are collected by Mahaman, Zuga Manje. But Hrobla, I'm sure he won 90% of the poles of uh, the previous boy from Supersport. Itlokwe. Itlokwe. Yeah. Every pole in the air. Krobla won it, and it fell to a super sport player. Mm. So then, Kevin Hunt has a, a structure, and it's clear to see, if you watch super sport play, you can say they play boring football, but it works. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It works for them. Template yes. Go there, Krobla did his job, they took him off. He's done his job, they won it up. Obviously, the pack, they've got Sianda and Tyson, no nonsense defenders, solid. Yeah. You know, they're seasoned campaigners. And I even told uh, my, my peers, Gabul and Fire, that, once Kevin Hunt goes 1-0 up, mm. it's very difficult for him to lose the game. Yeah, he knows how to lock the game. He knows. He knows how to win the game. Yeah. You know, he's got those players that I know, if I'm 2-0 up here, I can do this. If I'm 1-0 up, I can do this. If I'm 0-0, I need a goal, 
I two I, I put two target men and I I take out the midfield, I just put one winger, one winger, <laughs> go yeah. go. And it works. You know, he knows how to win. And yeah. and fortunate for him, he's got the players at Super Sport. Mm. As young as they are, you know, those young boys who are brought in now mm. from the MTC. I see the, the one is the man of the match today. Mm. From the MTC. Solid players who are young players who listen to instructions. And you can see the game plan yeah, Super Sport DJ from the start. Yeah. We go wide, we cross. They don't come through the middle. They go wide, they cross. They've got finishers, they've got good crosses of the ball, and they use it. Yeah. Okay, let's close it. You just mentioned Gavin Hunt. I can tell you know his identity. Do you normally think take his identity so far? What's his identity in terms of which kind of a game does he want to play? I haven't. Well, I don't. I'm not sure of his identity at the moment. Mm. And there's factors to that. Maybe it's the material he has, uh, or or maybe his identity is to 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 score first. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's what I did. Maybe score. So if they score first, then there's no plan after because <laughs> it's difficult for them to come back. Yeah. So if they go one nil up, they win the game, but they don't win it convincingly. Still, so you see, yeah. with the struggles are there, but yeah. the identity is not yet seen. Uh, but I'm still gonna be patient with him. Uh, I think he's a very good coach. I mean, he's coached at the highest level, yeah. national level. So. There's there's no denying that he's got the knowledge. Yeah. You know, it's just I want more from the from the recent players who are playing, you know. More from Emar, you know. Yeah. He's got so much potential. You know, if he expresses himself more, mm. it will kind of take off the load of Castillo. So I think Castillo is doing too much for him yeah. for a midfielder, yeah. for a post to post player. I don't see him doing this every game throughout the whole season, you know. Yeah. I, I want to see Mart more more on the ball. Uh, Matlo, Mon, the Paul, who are playing, Tanzani, when, if he, when he plays, you know, those are Paul players and they have the Paul players. It's yeah. just more of them expressing it more. And then they, they must know they're at Kaiser Chiefs, you know, they must think that they are there by luck. No, they're there on merit. They did well, the previous teams, you know, they're Chiefs players. So now the pressure is you must, you must do what you know. Yeah. It's not that you are dead Chiefs, they're asking you to do something you don't know. No, you are yeah. there because you're a good player. <laughs> yeah. So you must just do what you are good Believe at. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and show the confidence. You are good at it. Yeah. So just express it more. You know, I just that's a message for me from uh, from, from a player to the Chiefs players who are there. Yeah. That you know you are good players. Believe in yourself and express yourself more. Mm. And I'm I'm sure Chiefs with the poor players they have, mm. they'll dominate more because Chiefs uh, teams uh, go to play uh, against Chiefs already. They know, you they're playing against the Chiefs. The fans are eighty percent Chiefs. Mm. Already you are in an uh, advantage as a Chiefs mm. team. Mm. So go out there and show it yeah. to the players. No, thanks. Thanks, Tutso. Uh, that was Kaiser Chiefs and Supersport United. Supersport winning that game by one goal to nil. A two a goal that was scored within uh, five minutes. Thank you very much for watching TK Solutions TV. Continue to subscribe, share the video, and comment. Let's meet on the next one. Thank you very much.